In this video, I'm going to share with you some free KDP. It's a tool that you can use for your low content publishing. You can use that for Kindle publishing, and you can use that for any product, basically any product that you're doing or selling on Amazon. So let's go on. Uh, my name is Brian Mustafa, and I run the I Am channel. I want to especially welcome you, and my word for today is that Never give up on your dreams in terms of making money, passive income online. It may seem tough. You may do one or two. You may just upload 10 or 20 or even 100. I've seen people upload 100 books for one year. They've not made any sales. They keep on complaining that the system is choked. There's competition. And they keep on complaining. Look, you're not going to make money on uh, KDP, low content publishing, if you only have like 100 books. In some cases, you can even have one or two books and you make more money, but it's about numbers. Yes, there's quality and there's numbers. So the more you have books in different niches, the more likely you can sell more. So as my sales status coming up and uh, there are books I published like one year ago and they've not made any sales. But now I'm making sales one or two or three and I know Q4 is approaching. So you publish the books in niches and strateg strategically target some holidays. But today we want to look at keywords, research tools that you can use for your KDP publishing. And I use this in combination of others and I'll do a part two of it also. So you can also enroll in my KDP publishing course, low content publishing course. If you are new to this, that's for beginners. And uh, the link is in the description. And also you can just like this video for it to go high, viral. Like it or sub if you also can do extra, subscribe to this channel. I believe in you and let's go on. So let's just go straight to the number one. So first, I use Amazon to do my uh, keyword research because there's a saying that wherever you find your food, please invest there. So if I find my food here, I need to invest here. So this is where I'm selling my products. So the first point of call is I use where I sell the product to do my research. So, and I use the key bar. So all you need to do is to know and there are some plugins that I'll share with you how to get them. So if I key in uh, books, uh, maybe like I'm looking for catch, catch book, you see that uh, it has normally Amazon will only give you this session. If you if you do this on your PC search sketch, it will give you only this session, but you not get all the sessions. Right, so to, to, to be able to get this, there's a plugin that you install. But here is the case. If I do sketch, it gives you the variety of sketch that people are looking for. So you can see that I'm looking for a sketchbook. So I'm gonna niche it down, sketchbook, and it's going to still populate for me. So all these things are what people are searching for in terms of getting the same sketchbooks that you want to what, publish. So if people are searching for maybe watercolor sketchbook, sketchbook nine by 12, sketchbooks for drawing. So these are all potential keywords that you can use in your sketchbook to also make you stand out. So yes, if you do sketchbook alone like this, you may see that the competition uh, maybe like it. here is 4,000. Here yeah, you can see 4,000. But it's not all of these things that are sketch, the type of sketchbooks we want. So if you are able to niche it down to be able to what? Get more keywords that will let you appear in different places. And it gives you an edge to be seen and to sell more. And KDP has this, uh, I use this three formula listed. Publishing one is I publish in more niches to uh, do keyword researches to be able to appear in different places to be discoverable and three I do I use uh, I do just some good covers for people. So if you have this you can see more of the keywords. So you just have a notepad or you can just take a notepad 
like this, do a notepad, and you write them down. You write them down. You write like all the keywords that you see here. It could be a Word document. You write them. Multimedia sketchbook. Wow, what is this? Watercolor sketchbook. 600 page sketchbook. Harry Potter sketchbook. Sketchbook cheap. So these are all what people are key in to look for sketchbooks. So let's go to coloring books, coloring. So which is one of the hottest niches of KDP low content. So pink food coloring. So these are all things that people will look for. So if someone is looking for coloring pencils, simple means the person may also look for coloring books. So in your keywords, you might include coloring pencils. You might include pencils in your keywords because people are searching for that. And that's also come very high in KDP and uh, Amazon search. So once you put in pencils, you likely appear when someone types pencils. So if I click on coloring pencils, you might see people of coloring books that have appeared. You see coloring pencils? So it's just about pencils. But if I also put in a coloring book, yeah, my book will also appear here. So the people are looking for pencil will see, wow, I've seen a coloring book. Right, so these are coloring pencils. So, uh, and all it tells us is that the power of what? Keywords. So people are using that to appear here. And if you keep on session, you might see people of coloring books. That will also appear here, right? Amazon will not say because yours is a book and you have coloring pen pencils. It will not appear. It's going to appear. It's going to appear. Once it appears, people might buy that. People might buy that. So you see that you get to appear where people are searching for your product. And no one has used that. You can see this book has appeared in coloring pencils, but it's a coloring book. So you see that people will buy it because it is seen where these products are. So you just need to be strategic and know what you are actually using as your keywords. If you are having like up to thousand books or hundred books or you are not making sales, please revise your keywords or your covers. You either have a problem with your keywords or your covers, right? Because if you do proper keyword researches, people will see your uh, uh, book. So you can, this pencils is one, you can put books, you can put markers, Pencils for adults, so you don't put pencils again, you just put adults, pens, books for kids ages, coloring books for kids. So these are all potential keywords you just get. And you come in here, pink food coloring, chef master food coloring. So you look at them and see how they fit in your niche and you add them. So Halloween, Halloween coloring book, coloring set for kids, coloring eight year old, you can include eight year, then you, you see, so people are buying this for gifts, for their eight year olds, right? So that's what it tells me. So you add this and you, or even target that and write books and publish those books in that area. So these are all potential keywords that you can be discovered. Uh, coloring book with grandma, coloring book with glitter, and with cutting. You may not even publish in some of the niches, but once your book appears there, you get to what makes sales. So, we also have, um, let's look at notebooks. Before I show you in a second how to get that plugin. So all these are notebooks that people are searching for. Work, notebook for women, uh, notebook for school, notebook for college. So if you are publishing and you're not utilizing any of these keywords, that's why people don't see you. Because people are searching in this to get keywords, right? To get keywords. Uh, or to buy. So if you're also using this, you get to be seen and discovered. So you may not make much sales, but you may make two, three, four per book. So if you have a thousand books, you make three per month. That is not bad at all. That is not bad at all. So utilize all this and to be able to do more. So that's this one. But there, there's a plugin. So if you have, if you don't have that plugin, you may only see this, but to expand it, you need a plugin. It's like this. It's AMZ. The name is AMZ Suggestion Expander. So AMZ Suggestion Expander, once you install it you, on your system and you are doing any search on Amazon, 
that search will expand for you to see what people are doing. So all you just need to do is go on to Google, type in AMZ, AMZ Suggestion Expander. So pretty sure it's gonna look like this, AMZ Suggestion Expander. Then you click on it, it's a Chrome plugin extension. Then I already have it. So this is its icon. Once you see this, you can just install it. Download it and it will install. I already have it, so it's telling me to remove, but I don't want to remove it. So you just do it, and once you install it, it will help you expand your searches on Amazon. So that's the first way I do my keyword researches. The second way is I use Sona.com, Sona tool. So this is Sona tool. So this is how I use it. So I just go to just go on to Google, type in Sona keyword, Sona keyword. And it's going to suggest that for you. It's like this: Sona dash keyword tool dot com. So it's pretty just like this. And it also kind of give you keywords that people are using to do like to searching for Amazon. So if it opens up uh, once it's, it loads, you get to see how it works. How it works. And it's taking time, I don't know why, but let's reload, re reload it. Okay, so that's how it is. So it's keyword extender, you can do async searches, reverse lookups, but let's uh, focus on the keywords. So maybe I'm typing in like what we just searched for, sketchbook. Sketchbook. So search itself will give you suggestions about what people are searching for. Sketchbook, sketchbooks, sketchbook pro, sketchbook for drawing, sketchbook hardcover, sketchbook journal, sketchbook for girls, sketchbook case, sketchbook for drawing. And pretty much it was the same uh, type of searches we're seeing on Amazon. So once you ping it, it's going to like give you more. It's going to give you more. So you can see it's giving you keyword suggestions. It has found like 3,229. Sometimes it gives me more keywords that I don't even know what to do with them. I don't know where to put them, but it gives you what people are looking for. So once you do this, you can see it gives you up and you can download all. Just come down and download all the keywords. So once you download all the keywords, it gives you that in the Excel sheet where you can see them all. I just have it here. Right, so I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to see the keywords. So these are all the keywords. Even though it has a paid version, but I use the free one. So these are all the keywords, over two, three thousand keywords. And you can use that for also niches. So three thousand keywords. You see what people are typing in, and you can get an idea as to what to do, how to search, or how to input them in your uh, backend keywords, seven backend keywords. So I have a course also that teaches you how to fill the seven backend keywords because some of you just put two, two words, three words. No, it doesn't work like that. Or you even put seven. So like, it doesn't work like that. So let's do more searches. So we're going to look for coloring, coloring books and uh, see is okay. It has also given us coloring pencils, right? But we want coloring books. We can see that they always, they always uh, like they are almost the same of what people are searching for on Amazon. Coloring pencils for adults, coloring book, color adult coloring books. And when you come here, these are all you can also download this once, yeah, and get it. But I don't need to download it again. But you can do that. But when you come here, these are mostly like the frequently used words here. So you can just pick all of this and put them in your backend keywords and pretty sure you are all good to go. If you don't have time to do like all the researches, you can just pick some of this. And that is what majority of people are searching for. Color pencil for Crayola, Prisma color colored pencils, and all those things, books. And you can just move on. And these are what people are searching for. And even it tells you some of the books that have this, have the, that keyword. So you can just copy them, put them in your Word document or any document, structure, structure, structure them and uh, use them on the, your Amazon listing. So this is free. 
So you just type in sonartool.com and you can use that one. So the last one I'm going to share with you before I show you one is keywordtool.io. So keyword, let's go on to Google and type in keywordtool.io. Uh, you see it, keywordtool.io. You're just going to see it keywordtool.io is like this. So once you come here, and this one, you can use it for your SEO searches, for your Amazon searches, for YouTube searches, those who are doing YouTube videos, it helps you to get your keywords for YouTube. But here we use it Amazon. So I'm using Amazon, and you can leave it all, or you can just go on to the book session. So maybe leaving it all will give you more in terms of what people are searching for. And all you need to do is to search for form, Sketch was doing the same searches, sketchbook. You can search pretty sure for anything, any product. While we're looking for sketchbooks. So it, it takes time to uh, load. And sketchbook for kids, sketchbooks for drawing, sketchbook, sketchbook, like so it also gives you all those keywords that are related to sketchbooks. People are searching in that you can easily sell or buy so this is a free version and uh it's giving me results so i don't even see why i need to up upgrade but if you like the keywords you just do what you go down you go here copy and uh, you just download it see this one export to csv or clipboard or export to uh, excel so once you just click on it it's going to download here for you to open and uh, also see it so it's just like the same other one we use and uh, you get your keywords you structure that structure them but you don't repeat the sketchbook you just pick this 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 and you put them there so that's pretty much how i do my researches so we get it and you can move on and uh, there are more ways that you can actually get different keywords too but I think this one will help you as beginners. And uh, you can also get, do your uh, niche, uh, niches, niche research for this. So you can go on to Creative Fabrica, buy your interiors, get your keywords, just go uh, to the graphics, KDP interiors, and off, you are gone. You get all your graphics and interiors here, and you come and publish. So I'll leave the link to Creative Fabrica, which I am an affiliate of. If you buy from that, if you subscribe, I get a, I get a percentage percentage out of that. But that will not make it higher price for you or not. It's the same price everybody's buying. So just go on to Creative Fabrica. The link is in the description. You register and I also get to make money from my just doing all researches. Right? You can also get your books on my Gumroad or you can enroll in my KDP publishing course, which is uh, discounted to $99. The original price is $199, but it's discounted to $99. So thank you for your time. I believe in you. Just subscribe to this channel. Like this video. If you don't even subscribe, I like this video. It will give me some rankings. Thank you for your time. My name is Ibrahim. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. And I don't know you, but I believe in you. May God bless us all.